Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a milestone for me because this will be the first time I'm flying on a plane and I'm going to take you with me and share my experience with you. Right now, I'm about to get in the car, drive to the airport. All right, so I just went past TSA and my ticket to board, but now I'm about to walk to the gate. My bag, little suitcase. My gate is gate 10. I'm like almost two hours early. Like, okay, gate 10. I see gate 9. Is this 10 on here? Seven, eight. This must be gate ten. So I am at my gate right now. I'm charging my phone. It's very empty in here. It's also like what time is it? Like it's 9:25 a.m. My flight is 10:50 a.m. and I have a layover in Atlanta. Checking in is very easy. There's not really many people here at the airport. Like it's like empty, empty. Um, checking in, it was easy. Uh, TSA, this was new for me. Uh, Cause this is my first time flying. TSA, it was nice, I guess. It was just, you know, a lot of rushing. I had these boots on and take the ride to lace them up. And I had unlaced one of them in the car cause I knew I had to take my shoes off anyway. But I didn't take the other one off, so I'm just up here struggling to unlace it while everyone's like behind me and stuff. I was nervous because I didn't know what to do or what to expect, but now I kind of know what to do. I am nervous for my flight and I'm very excited as well. I always get scared of flying. I was scared of it, but I still want to try it at the same time. So this is my area, this is what I see. I don't see a plane.
So right now I am in ATL A airport. I am. Um, I know where I'm going. Right now I'm just trying to look around, maybe get some food or something. I am at my gate and I stopped to get the food and now I'm just waiting for my food. Welcome you to DC, terminating point of our flight. 
for your continued comfort and safety. It will be necessary for all passengers to remain seated until the aircraft is parked at the gate and the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. As you retrieve articles from the overhead bins, please do so with caution as articles do tend to shift during flight. If you do need assistance here, please check with you to find Delta agent greeting this flight. To practice social distancing as you deplane, please wait for the row in front of you to be five feet in front of you before you stand, retrieve your items, and deplane. On behalf of the entire crew, it has been a pleasure having you on board today. In future plans to call for travel, we hope you will once again choose Delta. Thank you and have a good day. I am back in my dorm and I'm going to talk to you about my experiences flying for the first time. One thing that's really annoying is sometimes my ears will like pop several times and sometimes it will hurt. Flying during Corona. They made a social distance in the plane. All the seats wasn't filled out. If there was a plane with like three a row, they'll have someone on the edges, on the two edges, and then the middle seat would be empty. And I also had planes where there's only like two a row, and the person get the whole row to themselves, which I like because that was no problem. They also took procedures in sanitizing the plane down. They also hand you little sanitizing wipes when you board the plane. The company that I board with was Delta, so they did very well with that. I don't know how other plane companies did, but I know they did well with that. I'm going to tell you the scariest part. The scariest part. The flying was when the plane would get bumpy in the sky. That was scary. Especially since I was I was on the edge, I was on the row seat. You know, I didn't have a window seat. I couldn't look out to see what was happening. But I personally like window seats because it makes me feel more comfortable. I could see what's happening. I could prepare myself for anything, whatever. Plus I really like the vehicles and stuff. So when I was sitting on a row seat and it started bumping the bump, that was a bit scary. Um, also I flew short distance, so it wasn't a long distance plane. I don't know what the experience is with those. I just know my experience. So, before I end this video, I'm going to share with you all some tips that I took in advance to prepare myself that maybe any one of you that are flying for the first time as well can take. Number one is to call the airport that you're going to. You want to call, make sure you have everything figured out. Do you have any additional questions you might want to ask? Um, like, what travel size bottles can you bring? What liquids can you bring in the bottles? Um, what size bags do you require? Or carry-on sizes? You know, questions like those that can help you prepare yourself. Two is to install the app or what airline you're going to be using. That really, really helped a lot. It's when you install the app, they have all the ticket information that you need. Even before you go to the airport and print out the physical ticket, they have all the information there. And you can also check in using the app and skip the long lines as well. That's what I did on my flight coming back. And yeah, it was really quick. It has all the information. It was really helpful to me as a first time flyer. So maybe this is something they can help you also. Third tip is to bring a lot of masks. Also bring like a mini travel size hand sanitizer because if you're anything like me, sometimes the mess may pop or you may lose it or you know, whatever may happen, you just want to make sure that you're prepared. You always have a backup one. Also, when you're traveling through crowded airports, I recommend using either two or three masks at the same time just to make sure you don't catch that corona roll. Next tip is to watch YouTube videos. That's something that really helped me as well. I didn't know what to do, where to go. I didn't check in, I didn't know anything at all. So I watched a lot of YouTube videos to prepare me, and it really it helped a lot. And it saved my time from finding the gate significantly. So you should do that as well. But thank you all for watching my YouTube video. If you want more lifestyle videos like these, it may not be plain specifically, um, but just subscribe and turn the bell notification on, and we'll see you with another video. Bye.